and you fat because your lazy ass ain't getting up and working the fuck out. You don't gotta be that damn big, especially if you're huge. Like, brother, you ain't got to be that damn big. And if it's not that, it's probably some, some underlying issues like mental health issues, whatever the case may be, that's stopping you from doing something like that. Nigga, I don't want them problems. I need your ass to be in shape. How you gonna protect me and I can outrun you? Nigga, like, what You ain't even got no stamina to beat this man up. You ain't even got no stamina to pick me up. If I break my ankle or something, you can't pick me up and run me through the damn woods. Brother, lose some damn weight. Get your ass in shape. Put it like here. It's very important that every average male. Do what is necessary to get in shape. You ain't gotta go to the gym every day, but you need to do what is necessary in order to stay in shape and to stay fit because you never know what's gonna go down. You never know what's going to happen, so you need to be able to defend yourself and the people that you love. Every average male should know how to maneuver punches, do something, kickbox, something, all right? <laughs> For me, I'm six foot and I'm like 210 pounds, right? 210 to 215 pounds. With me, I should at least be able to carry my own weight, if not that, at least half of my weight. So I should be able to at least carry about 130 to 150 pounds. If I, as a man, at the height of six foot and the weight of 210 pounds cannot be able, or if I do not have the capacity to carry 130 pounds, or to at least lift it, right? We have issues. If I, as a man, don't know how to protect a woman, much less protect myself, we have some issues. I'm not saying you gotta be Bruce Lee. I'm not saying you gotta be Jackie Chan. And I'm not saying you gotta be Black Dynamite. Dynamite! Dynamite! But you should be able to know how to take care of yourself. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Don't don't let the don't let the baby face fool you, okay? <laughs> don't let the baby face fool you because I am fit. Okay? Now I couldn't say this two years ago or three years ago, because even though I still had the baby face, I didn't have the what you would call the body type or the body shape in order to protect a woman and i'm over here being a goddamn simp talking about protect black women but my ass over here can't even protect my goddamn self much less do 10 push-ups at this time oh yeah i'm putting myself on blast i'm putting your ass on blast this nigga over here couldn't even do 10 goddamn push-ups for this couldn't even do 10 goddamn push-ups now look at me over here i could do 100 push-ups in one day per session Nigga. <laughs> but I say all of this to say that, you know, it takes time. You know, it the first thing that you have to do is you have to come to a realization of, yeah, I need to get in shape. And yeah, maybe I can't protect myself. That's good. Because now you have come to the acceptance of knowing who you are and what you need to do. Now you need to set a goal for yourself. Before, I didn't really like what I used to see in the mirror. You know, now I got a little got a little definition here and there. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna show y'all, I ain't gonna show everything. But, you know, it takes time, you know, and I'm not fully where I want to be now. I want to be out here looking like a goddamn rock, but you know, that's going to take a, a whole nother decade <laughs> to get to that. So, you know, we, we get in there, you know, but it's better where I am now to where I was before. You know, the things that I can do, the things that I can lift, it's better where I am now than where I was before. Mm -hmm.